What's up everybody? In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about adjustment layers and how to use adjustment layers to do something very simple like change the color of this Jeep from red to yellow. And we're also going to change the color of this balloon from red to yellow. This is an image that I generated with ChatGPT. And without further ado, let's get to it. So first we're going to select just the red color of the Jeep. And I'm going to start with object selection. I'm just going to make a box around our Jeep. Let it do its thing. And I want to zoom in here with the lasso tool just to make it easy and sort of sort of start uh, readjusting and selecting. So I want to remove. All right, so we're pretty much left with just the red body of the Jeep. And I want to start by creating a mask and an adjustment layer. So when we hit the plus sign above our layer, we'll see the adjustment layer. And since we have a selection, when we create an adjustment layer, it'll create that on a mask. So just check it out. And we're gonna choose the hue saturation adjustment. All of these can be used, but for this uh, tutorial of changing the colors, we want to use the hue saturation. So right now we've got the hue saturation on this mask of just the body, and we can now adjust the colors. We can slide the hue to be about 50, 49 or 50, 48 it is. So we've got the color of the body of the Jeep. A key thing to remember is when you add an adjustment layer, like this, it will affect everything underneath the, uh, the adjustment layer, unless we have a selection and we create a mask based on that selection. Now it's still affecting everything underneath. You don't see the effect happening on the background because the mask, the mask is preventing the effect from bleeding into the background. Next, I want to do object selection again, go back to our background layer and draw a window or a box around the balloon. And it should do a pretty good job of selecting just the balloon. This time I want to go to more at the bottom next to all of the menu options that pop up at the bottom. And I want to duplicate selection and show you how we can create an effect that only affects this selection. So it, it's not going to affect everything underneath. It's only going to affect this selection. And you do that by adding a clipped adjustment. So a clipped adjustment just affects this one layer, the objects on this one layer. So we'll go to hue saturation again, and we'll change the hue slider until it's a nice yellow that matches. And voila, we've changed our Jeep from a red Jeep to a yellow Jeep. And we've changed our balloon from red to yellow as well, using clipped adjustments in two different ways. So the first way is by adding an adjustment layer to a selection so that you can create a mask. The second way is by adding a clipped adjustment so it just affects this one layer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.